Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Today is November. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All of my all of my little apps are dancing. You see that? <laughs> They're dancing. Okay. All right. Anyways, today is uh, November 21st, 2019, and I'm here to do a chit chat video for you guys while I get ready. There's some things I want to share with you guys. Uh, so right now I have everything on my face I've, in terms of um, primers, foundation, and my eyebrows, which um, my eyebrows, I wanted to get those out of the way. Anyways, let's go ahead and contour a little bit. Uh, my favorite contour shadow is from this Smashbox here. Uh, this is called the Contour Palette. That's it from Smashbox. And my favorite brushes are being dried right now, so... Just, this is from Ulta, um, but this is this is absolutely my favorite shade for me for contouring. Um, it's not terribly blue; it's more neutral. Um, I don't like the contours that are uh, very very blue. They I don't know. I feel like they don't look good on me. So this one is perfect. I do like the Elf one, the one um, this one here. Let me show you this Elf palette right here. This is just the contour palette. Uh, I do like this, and as you can see, I really did use a lot of it, but this one tends to be more blue, and so I'm not picking it up as much. Um, this this one here is very neutral, very neutral shade. I don't know if they even sell this anymore. I'll get my Lorac Pro 3. That one is the one that is in my project pan, and I'm gonna put this color called Pink Nude. Um, up here actually all over anyways um, I just really wanted to do this video more as a chit chat video um, while I get ready to talk about a few things uh, let's talk about real quickly vlogmas yeah vlogmas for December I've been hearing a lot of people talking about it and I did do it one year I don't think I finished it but I did attempt to do it um, and I really enjoy it. I really love watching people's Vlogmas. <laughs> um, but I don't know if I will definitely be able to. However, I do feel like with school uh, will be done. I think one is on the 11th of December. And I can't remember my history class when that one's done. Um, but I'll definitely be, have a little bit more time. I want to give it a shot to try to do it, uh, give it a good try. I'm going to be using a lot of different palettes. I'm going to pull from, I think, this Vizart palette right here, this Vizart one, and then I have the Stila in the Moment palette right here, and then obviously my Lorac. So, oh, and then I have <laughs> this palette here. I know I don't I, I had there's so many colors in this sweater and I just got this sweater uh, yesterday I washed it yesterday and I got it at the thrift store this is from Liz Claiborne and it was $6.99 but it was a purple tag and that was half off so good deal but look at all these like purple colors uh, gray colors black um, a burnt orange um, yeah really really nice I really really like it anyways so I'm gonna use a little of everything, of everything. <laughs> okay, so in this uh, naturally pretty color, I'm gonna go into Romance and I'm gonna use that as, as a transition shade. Oh, Vlogmas, yes. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep on. This is very hard for me to do. I don't know what it is, but I see people do get ready with me um, and they're talking and their videos are like in 17 minutes. You know, it's crazy. I don't know how they do it, but I'm going to try. All right, Vlogmas. I want to give it a shot. I want to try to do it. Um, yeah, even if I do some uh, car vlogs, as like you guys have been seeing me do more of a car vlog while I go to school, I sit and I chit chat with you. Um, maybe I could do some um, cooking, not cooking, but what I eat in a day, whatever, right? Just something to put up. I could do something like that. And I think what I'll do is I'll try to start recording uh, before December, maybe like after Thanksgiving, start the recording so that I have a couple of days to be a little bit ahead. Um, after this week, 
After this week, um, Monday, as of Monday, I have to turn in my final paperwork for religious studies, and that is going to free up a lot of time. We're not done with class, but in terms of turning any articles in or turning any kind of um, paperwork or anything like that, it's going to be over. So this week, this week, and this weekend is going to be um, a, a pretty tough weekend, but it should should subside after that. In the Stila palette, I'm going to go ahead and use this darker one right here. This one's called um, Improvise. And I think I'm going to put that in the outer corner and I'm going to use this, uh, what is this, Morphe, Morphe brush? So yeah, I'll be, I'll be, um, I'll be pretty much done with anything that's really, really uh, intense work in terms of religious studies. So that's going to be very freeing of my time. Um, not for history. History is a pain <laughs> because it's so fast. It's so quick paced because it's online. Um, so I'm going to give it a try. Uh, I, you know, I, I probably can tell you right now that it probably won't be like an everyday upload for me. It's going to be more of a, um, you know, a, a, my best shot <laughs> to do it. Um, I love watching Vlogmas videos. Love it. I have to go to my son's church, or not my son, my son's church. No, I have to go to church for my son's uh, religious classes. There's a couple things we have to do as parents. And that's this Saturday. I could take winter classes and they're only six weeks long. I'm thinking of doing that. Um, and everything I have left other than my ASL classes, my American Sign Language courses, other than those, um, I don't have, I really don't have a lot of electives left to go. I really don't, um, which I'm really excited about. But the ones that I do have, they're pretty intense. So, um... I could take an ASL finger spelling. I've already taken that a long time ago when I went to college before I had my 11 year old. I had taken three ASL courses already. However, you know, I didn't, I didn't use it. So it's like, I can finger spell, but I'm thinking maybe I should go ahead and retake it in the winter you know what i mean like take advantage of it because they're they are offering it but i will be in class for three hours three hours so i don't know and one of them is at night like it's like three to whatever and then one's even later one's at One, I, I can't remember the time, but I remember telling my husband, oh my God, I'll be coming out in the pitch, pitch dark. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know which ones I'll take. There's a communication course I need to take, um, a speech course. So I'm thinking I might do that. I think I, I'm thinking I might do that. Now I'm going to put uh, from the V's Art palette. Um, I don't know what this is called. The Golden Hour palette. Um, I'm going to take this beautiful, beautiful color right here that red one and I'm just going to put it in the crease but only on the outer part of the crease so there's that I think that's what I'm going to be taking for the winter I think I'm just going to stick with communication um, I don't want uh, ASL because those are what I'm going for majoring in I don't want them to be too fast you know what I mean it takes me a while to learn things people it really does um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm taking. I don't know what I'm doing here, people. I really, really don't. And I'm actually not really liking that. Okay. But I took inspiration from this sweater. Um, yesterday after, after class, um, oh, actually in the morning when I was getting ready in the morning, I was putting my contact lenses on and what I was using was, was a sample. Okay. It was a sample of some new contacts that we are trying out. Now these contacts were, are good for a whole month, okay? Whereas the other brand was only good for two weeks. 
anyway, I knew it was about a month getting into the month and I hadn't gone to the doctor's office to let them know if they worked out for me or whatnot. Anyways, yesterday, yesterday I was getting them on and my, <clears throat> my right side ripped. It ripped. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to wear glasses to school. You know what I mean? So luckily I had another pair not pair, another one for my right eye, the prescription for my right eye. The only thing of it was that it was a lower prescription. So it's, I was really struggling in class. Um, I have my readers, you know, I had them in my bag, but I hadn't really needed them. And so yesterday I kept struggling and I was squinting and my professor, she says, uh, Laura, are you okay? And I said, yeah, why? I thought she was talking about my foot because I had told you guys I fell. And um, and she says, because you're, you're really squinting. And I thought, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I told her, oh, it's because my one eye is the wrong prescription. I don't want to look like I have a black eye. You know? And I feel like that's what's happening. That's what, with purple... Oh, and when it comes to purple and blue, I just, I'm not very good at it. Okay, I want to bring that purple out more here. Because uh, my eyes droop. And I feel like it's not, it doesn't want to buff out. Now we're going to go in with a deeper color. I'm trying, I'm going to go ahead and use what I have in my uh, Lorac palette. It's called Truffle. I'm not showing you these because I want to give you guys a, an update. And I'm just going to put that on the outer corner. And I'm not going to go too deep into my crease. I don't want to go into the crease. But I will bring it all the way in. Uh, my foot's feeling a lot better. A lot, 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 lot better. So I'm happy about that. I'm, I'm still kind of walk a little funny. Um, certain positions of my foot hurt still. But for the most part, it's feeling really, really good. Really good. Oh, I like that. That's so much better. Like I said, everything, every color that I'm wearing, I'm just pulling off of the sweater. And I'm really going to bring that in. I really like that. I really, really do. I'm going to get a pencil brush and I'm going to go back into this red color. Uh, hold on, Molly. I'm coming, sweetheart. She's right outside my door. Um, and I'm going to sort of really go intense with that. It's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Let me get um, the Sigma brush. And I'm going to, I'm going to just go for it. Because I'm looking at this sort of burnt orange there at the trim of my sweater. And you can see it like really here. So I'm going to go into the V's Art palette. I'm going to go into this golden color right here. Right there. So I got purple. I got red. I got sort of a truffle color. And now I'm going to go in with this color. And how far in, I don't know. But this is really all the colors of my sweater. I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree real quick after I get off here and see if I can find what I've been looking for. That is a gorgeous color. I love that color. So we got we got cool, we got warm, we got everything in here. All right. Um. Let's see. For brow bone, almond pearl for the brow bone. Just going to put this one here. I'm going to put a little bit of this almond pearl um, in the inner tear duct. Just a little bit. I'll put more later, uh, but I want to do my liner and stuff first. So I'll be back. I'll be right back. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back with everything done. Eyes, hair, everything done when you see me again. So I'll be right 
back and then we'll really look at the color or the um the look a little bit better i, I you know when everything is put together so so far that's how it's looking <laughs> but does it match my sweater i think it does i think i got all the colors pretty much all right guys i'll be right back okay let's talk about a few things that i uh real quickly before I let you guys go. I'll show you the eye look here in a minute. I wanna talk about the Fenty Beauty. Remember this sample that I picked up? I even, I did a, a sort of first impressions on it and I talked to you guys, I still have quite a bit. I talked to you guys about it uh, when I was leaving school or something like that and I told you that it was okay. It was okay and that, you know, it was good and I was actually going to consider purchasing it. Well, I'm not. I just don't, I don't like the finish of it. I don't like, um, the, it, it does oxidate uh, some and you know, with the Mac, it just doesn't. And so someone's doing their lawn. <laughs> I hope you guys don't hear that too, too much. Um, so I'm not going to buy this. Um, I'm actually going to give this little sample to my mom and see if she likes it, if she wants to finish it off. Um, let's talk about the lips really, really quick. As of today, I have not done a Dollar Tree haul where I purchased this lipstick, but let me just go ahead and show you in this Get Ready With Me. These are the Remy Rose lipsticks. Uh, I saw quite a few YouTubers grabbing these and um, they like them. And so I thought I would give them a try. I got all of them and if the haul is up by now, I'll put the eye card up here. If not, look out for that Dollar Tree haul. But this one is in Kristen. Uh, what I like about these, um, I do love this color and I thought that it was a little too pink for this look, but it, it's okay, it's okay. I thought it was going more pink. Anyways, let me, I'll show you through the box. I can't get it out. But anyways, do you see how tiny that is? That is very, very tiny. And it's a dollar. It's at the Dollar Tree. Uh, it's very, very tiny. And I like that. I actually like that because first of all, it doesn't take up a lot of room in your purse. Uh, second of all, because I don't go through a lot of the lipsticks, you know what I mean? And so this size is perfect for me. Perfect. Uh, it just, it does tend to be a little bit more pink. Probably not the best lipstick for this color I don't, I don't know it's okay it's okay um i can tell you right now that it does feel good on the lips it was very streaky going on on my lips very very streaky um and it, it, it did take me about a good three coats to get the opacity finally that i wanted i could tell you they feel really really good on the lips it's not i don't feel it to be over drying in the least it feels really really good on the lips however However, what I do notice, and because I am definitely older, <laughs> I'm older, I could see pretty much all the lines on my lips. You know what I mean? <laughs> I could see, uh, it settles right into those fine lines. Okay, so there's that. I just wanted to show these to you. The mascara that I'm wearing, I'm back to wearing the blowout mascara. I did a car vlog for you guys and I said that I had sort of left this alone for a while and uh, went and used it and now it's working to perfection. <laughs> uh, I absolutely love it. I have it on right now and I'm going to zoom you in here in a little bit, but I love it. I absolutely love it. It keeps my lashes up. Um, what I do now with this though, because it, it clumps up pretty, pretty quickly. Um, what I do is I put what I need on and before it dries, before it dries, I go in and I clean off, clean off this because I don't have any spoolies with me. I don't have any, you know, clear spoolies. I just sort of clean it off and then I use that to separate all my lashes. And, uh, so far right now I do, I really, really like it now. I do. And it keeps, it stays up all day, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay I wouldn't buy this again. I can tell you that right now only because it's too much money for all this trouble that I have to go through with that. So there's that. And really, really quickly, the last thing I want to show you, um, I bought this purse at the dollar, tr uh, <laughs> the dollar tree. No, no, no. I bought this purse at the Goodwill and I found this purse. Now, um, it, I love the, look at the color guys. It is a, a berry color, a maroon, berryish color. It is so pretty. It goes with my outfit. It's small. Look at the studs, these gunmetal studs. It is so lightweight. 
um, three compartments, one open compartment here, open compartment here, and then in the middle, you have a zip up compartment where I keep my wallet and more, you know, keys and things like that. And then you have an outside zipper here, outside zipper here. And you have your handles, you have the, the strap. You can do this as a crossbody as well. So here's the brand. Some of you might recognize it. And I think I had some a pair of pants that I sold a few several years ago uh, from this brand, Joe's. And I looked it up <laughs> on eBay today. I was just curious, honestly, guys, because I feel like this bag is such a quality bag that I just looked it up. And they're something similar to this, a little bit bigger, no studs though, just but very similar color, very similar style. I think it's a little bit bigger, was running 249 brand new. Um, some of you, like I said, might recognize the brand. I, I, I don't. I started looking at other bags with this name and they run 60, 70, 80, some that are a little bit more battered condition, 30, 40, $50, but some that are pretty good condition between 80 to $120, depending on how big and things like that. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Um, and that is it. I'm gonna zoom you in really, really quickly. There you go, I hope you guys can see. There you go, the oranges, the red that's peeking through, the purples, the you know deeper plum sort of color on the outer corner. I also brought in that red down up in here uh, from the Vizart palette, that red, that one that's peeking through right up in here, I brought it down here. And I don't know if you can see the lipstick better. There you go. And that is it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, I'm going to try to perfect Get Ready With Me while I chit chat because it just seems like I can't do it too good. But I will perfect that and we will aim to do uh, Vlogmas this December. I will definitely aim for it. I'll do my best to bring you guys as many as I can and bring you guys along my day. All right my friends, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all very, 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 very soon. Bye.